Hi guys, what's up? In this tutorial, I will show you how to do this square pipe roof designed by Santiago's Calatrava. It's a very cool building and the roof is very special. So, let's get started. First, I will show you how to do this model in Rhino and then I will show you how to do it in Grasshopper. Let's go to the right view first and then draw a horizontal line. We can input 80 for the line, hold the shift comment, confirm it, and then we can use the gamble and rotate it 15 degrees. Then we're gonna select the mate options here, this one, and use mirror. Use the mirror command, find the mate point, and draw a curve like this. Then we go to the perspective view, move these lines to here, and then use the gamble move this line in 50 units, like this. Select these lines, use linearly. This one, linearly comment, select the objects, press enter. Input the number of items, maybe 10, uh, maybe 8. Press enter and draw the direction line. Maybe from here to there. Hold the shift comment. And here we need to input a hundred because previously we input 50 for this gap. There are two gaps, so we need to input a hundred. Do it like this. And then we're gonna create the surface for the roof. We have already have many lines like this. And then go to the surface creation tools. You can imagine these lines as cross-section curves. There are many cross-section curve lines. So which command should we choose? We can use loft command, right? Click loft and select normal. You can't use loose, otherwise it will be like this. Choose normal and do not simplify. Click OK. Delete all the lines. Delete it. And then open the control points. Uh, maybe open the control points later. And then we use control C, control V, copy and paste and move it up 5 units and then open the control points maybe select this one and adjust the form by using these control points move it a little bit upper maybe a little bit more like this, it's much better and then adjust this one. Turn on the control points. Move it like this. Oops, it's the wrong one. This one. Okay. A little bit more. In the next step, I'm gonna create a lot of lines, like SO curve lines. There is an option that I can choose. I can find a common named control. Select it. Select the surface. And press enter. Draw the direction line. This way. And input the distance between the gap. 5. Here I create a lot of lines. Move it to the other side. If we use Rhino, we can we can create the surface by using the love command, and then the next one, the next one, and you can do the same thing for the other lines. Cool. And the next step, I'm gonna select all the surface. Use extrude surface. 
this one and input 5 it will be like this this is the first way that we can create a roof like this and now I will show you how to do it in Grasshopper first open the Grasshopper and then we can create a new one new document and then use the surface comment copy and paste because we have got two surface site one surface and then another one site another surface we can add this surface for a moment add all of the other surface okay and then we're gonna use the control comment go to the intersect and find the control from here this is a surface and we need to mark a start point and use a point from here Add the other volumes and lines surface don't need them cool and then use a point uh, set the point this one Connect them together, direction, let's say maybe it's Y direction. Let's double check it. Has a surface. Distance maybe is 5. Okay, cool. Okay, now you can see the direction is wrong, so it should be the x direction. This one is the right one, so I'm gonna copy it and then delete this surface because we're gonna use this one here. Connect them together, and then we can use loft comment to create the surface. Go to the surface and find loft comment from here. Connect them together and if I click this one you can see I have already made all of the surface like this and then in the next step I gonna extrude the surface into solid volumes go to the surface and find extrude and direction is y direction The five. Oops, this one should be x direction. Okay, this is the right one. And also, if I show the surface, it's not this one. If I move the surface like this you can see the form is changing I try this one Oops. try this one you can see it will be like that okay and if I turn on this surface control points it will be like this If yours one doesn't move because you didn't turn on the record history column here, you should turn on always record history, this option, from the start point. Cool, so this is the end of the tutorial. If you wish to learn more about the Grasshopper, please come to our website and purchase the Grasshopper courses. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, how's it going for the tutorials? Now I'd like to share something with you. 
As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel, but for those who have just started with 3D modeling or who are interested into having more details and wanting to improve the Rhino skills, we have designed a series of architecture modeling and design courses for Rhino and Grasshopper. Come to our website rhinoartschool.com, first link in the description below. Let's see how it works. Open up your browser and type rhinoartschool.com. You can join our Rhino architecture design tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is unlimited time course. The second one is monthly payment course. They are the same courses, just different purchasing method. Throughout these courses, you will get a step-by-step -step approach in learning how to model organic architectures, parametric architectures through interesting case studies and famous architects projects. For example, Saha Hadid's projects, Mad projects, Big Architects projects, Shiguri Barn projects, and many more. Join our professional architecture course and design your own miracle. Also, if you want files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can access them by becoming our blog members. You can find the link in the description below. I'd like to thank all our blog membership supporters, it really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like our tutorials and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel as we upload new videos two times a week.